hello and welcome to my tutorial part 3 in this part I will uh, show you how you can make your own explore exe button how you can make um, how you can make your custom uh, forward and backward images and how you can make and how you can make a uh, left side images so uh, if you watched my uh, number one and number two part of my, of this tutorial uh, making a custom theme for Windows 7 and let's say that you are done uh, just a Windows visual style file you are done that in Vista style builder but uh, you still have a um, a start button back backward and forward and left side images from blade base team and now I will show you how to do that you can do that on two ways uh, you have a uh, software restorator 2007 which is a uh, original version of this software and you can just simply open this folder right click open with and choose your software with which you are editing images if you want to download a uh, restorator here's the link I will leave it in description below uh, this is really handy uh, software and I probably think that you will need it uh, later but for now uh, you will not need it because you are a beginner and I suggest you on this way so uh, you are done everything in Vista Style Builder. Uh, you are done every location. You can close this, and like I say, uh, you still have a start button, and I will show you how to change it. Uh, simply open uh, e Explorer EXE and right-click, open with, and choose a software. Uh, which you are editing images, and just edit, uh, replace your images your custom images and you're done uh, you can go back to explorerframe.dll and do the same do the same for every image also if you are using some image from other designer you need to leave a credits for it uh, fonts are not necessary you can delete this because you can uh, install fonts like extras you know uh, fonts are not needed in this folder of team uh, you have images uh, these images DLL are, are for computer recycle bin and network and folder network I think so yeah this is uh, for computer recycle bin full empty network uh, computer and network uh, folder also if you want you can replace uh, these images with your own custom images and when you apply uh, the theme I will show you that when you apply the theme uh, you'll see that I have a custom images for recycled bin computer and and that's it okay you can do that too if you want if you don't want uh, just delete this and that's it now we have a shell and I would su uh, suggest you that don't touch this because uh, this is usually uh, edited shell style DLL just skip this folder and that's it and uh, this uh, shell 32.dll images are left side images and images in control panel so again uh, open only this image in software which you are editing I'm using Photoshop so let's say that I open Photoshop uh, replace this image with my custom image and do the same with a uh, control panel image and this one actually this one don't need to be changed just this one and this one and that's it uh, finally you have a sound shame sound shames are 
are sounds in your windows if you don't want to have it just delete that but why you should delete it uh, you can just uh, mute the songs in your computer and finally you have a logo to replace logo just again right click open with Photoshop replace the image and that's it when you do the all the steps for every image you can go ahead and apply your uh, new theme whatever and you should have uh, your custom star button you should have a uh, custom forward and backward buttons and you should have a control panel image and finally you should have a left side image okay uh, I have more two tutorials how to how to how to make a visual style what is visual style uh, I will show you actually it's not visual style it's a theme file how to create theme file how to edit this how to edit this I will show you that in next tutorial uh, right now you can see that in this theme I don't see any wallpaper and for this one I have wallpapers for this one I have I have wallpapers and only for blade base I don't have wallpapers I will show you how to change that and how to make your custom theme file okay for that uh, for this tutorial it's enough uh, I will continue in next one so thank you for watching this and see you next tutorial bye